A lot of time is spent on analytics projects cleaning data. Sometimes it's a technical need, but often it's applying business rules to data that haven't been enforced. That's where master data management or MDM can be applied. MDM is often more about the political side of the data. The sales team calculates a metric this way, the inventory team calculates it another, and both can technically be correct, but one has to be picked to be the company standard. Master data makes up the core data within the organization, which describes objects central to how business processes are conducted. Not all data is master data and shouldn't be managed the same way. It's typically a small portion of overall data, but some of the most critical. A common example is multiple data sources storing address information however it's entered. If all of these sources are merged together, it can cause a mess during analysis of geolocation, or look like there are a lot more shipment locations than there actually are. So this data is then standardized across all sources using the popular tool Smarty Streets, which takes an address input and then returns the postal address in a consistent format. The architecture can vary a lot. Ideally, the closer to the source that MDM occurs, the better, but that's not always feasible, and sometimes processing needs to happen right before analysis. Ultimately, somewhere along the pipeline, data will be processed against an MDM rule set to ensure data flowing through conforms to business set standards. Anything that doesn't will be rejected or standardized if possible. Like everything in the data world, there are countless tools available to help you with master data management, offered by all the normal players in data tooling. The choice would be heavily dependent on the rest of the data platform you're using. It's also always possible to implement custom MDM solutions in pipeline by adding steps to clean master data to conform to business rules during processing.